this week I am spilling all the tea on Florida State. How's it going? My name is Ashton Herndon and I have quite the bone to pick with Florida State right now. So usually when it comes to anything Florida State, I'm probably the best spokesperson there is. I mean, come on, just look at my channel. <laughs> but recently there's just been something about it here that's been really bothering me. Up to this point, I think it's safe to say that I've made Florida State a place that I can proudly call my home. I mean, I've established a little family, spent every day chasing my dreams, and I've done it all while studying at the school I've always dreamed of going to. I mean, just look at this. I've been in Florida State gear since birth. This is some full circle shit going on right here. But even though I make it seem like I'm living the dream life here, for the longest time, the only thing I wanted to do was transfer the hell out of here. When I first came to Florida State, I had a lot of hope that it would be a match made in heaven. Everyone I had ever talked to said that they absolutely loved it up here. And I had no doubt in my mind that my life would be a movie just like everyone else. But after the first few days of living out that dream college life, the reality of Florida State started to hit me like a truck. I started to realize that the whole environment up here was a lot different than people made it out to be. And my dream college experience started to fade away real fast. From the overwhelming party culture, to messy roommates, loud neighbors, and a lifestyle that was far from what I dreamed of as a kid, I felt like it was impossible to find my place here. And after seeing how easy it was for everyone else to fit in, I wanted to be anywhere but Florida State. And that's why I'm here today. I know that there's a ton of pressure out there when it comes to picking the right college. And at times, making that perfect choice seems damn near impossible. But lucky enough for you, I've got some dirt on Florida State that most people don't even dare to talk about. So today, all the secrets are coming out. So I know that in a lot of my videos, I make this place seem like it's the best place on earth. And you know, for the most part, that's kind of true. But in some cases, Florida State is actually very far from it. So today we're going out and asking a ton of different students across a ton of different backgrounds what their biggest regrets are about Florida State and whether or not it's actually worth coming here in the first place. From diehard Florida State fans to FSU haters to everyone in between, no stones being left unturned today, baby. So you know, usually when we do these type of videos, it's super upbeat, super wholesome. But today, I honestly have no idea what to expect. Like, this can open up a lot of doors to controversy. So I'm a little nervous not gonna lie i feel like a tmz reporter getting all the drama today man i love it you ready i know i know it's a very scary topic but you know what we're gonna get through it <sighs> okay let's do this hey buddy what's up dude oh my gosh look who it is good to see ya Funny seeing you here, huh? So I am here with the one and only, you all know him, you all love him, the president of Light the Night, the Twitter guy himself, the one and only drummer of the Kids on Call Street, Zach Zweifel, Max Kuznier, Mr. Ladon, Jaden Drummond. AKA Jordan Travis. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say it, huh? <laughs> Never let them know your next move. You nervous? A little bit. It's okay, we got this, we got this. Take a couple deep breaths. I promise I will mess up more than you. I guarantee it. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's do this. So first question, what is your name and how long have you been at Florida State? Uh, my name is Jack Green. Griffin Nelson. Zags Weifel. Robert Rodriguez. Jaden Drummond. The Adrian Cancio, AKA player. Maxwell Kuznier, I've been at Florida State for four years. Two years. Two years. Two months. A semester and a half. Four years is my senior year. My second year. This is my third semester. This is my first semester. So halfway done. So yeah, I'm a freshman, yeah. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> and was Florida State your first choice of a college? Florida State was my first choice, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It was for a long time, and then I was considering UCF, and then I got in here, and I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to FSU. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, no, it wasn't. No, no, no. Definitely not. No. No, definitely not. Florida State was not my first choice. My first choice is actually UF. I wanted to go to UF. I can't say what my first choice was. Why? because it was UF. <laughs> <laughs> I was committed to play sports at Washington University in St. Louis, and then I decided that Florida State would end up being the best option for me, and it was the best decision I ever made. I was moving houses one day, actually, and the lanyard for the new house that we are moving into was a Florida State lanyard. So I dropped everything else, and I picked Florida State, and I've been happy ever since. I wanted to flee the cold, burdensome hell of Pennsylvania for the sunshiny, beautiful state of Florida, where we have beautiful men such as Ashton. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, man. Thank you. <laughs> so obviously there's a ton of different people out there with a lot of mixed feelings about Florida State. And even though for some people it was their dream school and for others it was their very last choice, at the end of the day, there's still a lot of uncertainty on what to actually expect once you get here. So I decided to dig a little deeper. All right, so we're gonna get a little deeper here. 
before you came to Florida State, what was your biggest fear about coming here? My biggest fear, honestly, was just that state of being uncomfortable, being in a new type of environment. Being in a new environment, how big the school actually was. I didn't go to like a big high school, so my biggest worry was this was like a big school and a lot of kids here. I thought I could get lost in all of it and sort of not find myself or a right group. That I wouldn't be able to make friends and kind of find a group of people. I thought I'd get too wrapped up in like the culture. Party culture. Party culture. Party culture. The culture, the atmosphere, it's like just even the name of it. I don't really like the logo. I know that's a hot take. Like, I still don't like the logo. I guess just not knowing anything. I just didn't like know much about it. That classes were going to be impossible or that people were going to be partying like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and did that fear hold to be true? I'll say yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, but not as much as I thought it was. No, not at all. Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. I've gotten deeper into my faith. My life is just amazing. I love my life. So, yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. I love to hear that. And once you actually got to Florida State, what was one thing about the school that completely took you off guard? Honestly, one thing that really took me off guard was how much free time you actually have. Kind of how different people are from different cities. How beautiful the school is. There's actually fall here, so I'd say the weather. The fact that the seasons did not change. Like, it's still super hot. The hills, definitely. The roads. Tennessee Street. All of it. I was not expecting it, especially knowing that the school's in Tallahassee. Like, a uh, shit show. Honestly, how nice the people were. The people are like, Hello, nice here. Everybody's so chill. That's what I was not expecting. Everyone's really nice here, man. Like, if you ask a question, people will answer it. Everybody, like, genuinely cares about you and who you are. There's a respect on this campus that I really feel like isn't in other places. Very well said. Very profound. I love it. So, you know, for the most part, a lot of these fears about Florida State turned out to be way less intimidating than people made it out to be. And at times, some of these fears turned out to be a lot more wholesome and friendly once people actually started to go here. But even though some of these students have started to find their way here, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're completely happy with this place. So I decided to dig deep and get the truth on how people really feel about Florida State. So now is the question that everyone's been waiting for. The deepest question we got. What is your biggest regret about coming to Florida State? Biggest regret about Florida State? Uh, um, um, hmm. That's a tough one. I have to think about it. Give me a second. Biggest regret? Um, I don't know. That's such a difficult question because I love it here. Is it wrong to say I don't really have any regrets about coming here? I wouldn't say it's Florida State specific, but just like not having a good attitude coming, I think. Not appreciating the little things. Not living on campus more. I lived off campus for this year and uh, I regret just like not being around everything. I feel like I'm away from it being off campus my freshman year. Not doing my stuff like when I have the time to. Just pushing things off. It could be very hard to like oh, yeah. find your push. Letting myself slip during the spring semester. The current major I'm in, fuck IMS. Honestly, bro, it's just the parking. The, the parking here, I've already got like four tickets and I got my car towed once. Like, we have a horrible airport. The fact that it's really far from home and like if I do want to go home, the plane tickets are like $400. Flying out of that airport is so expensive. Probably not having it on my top of the list for the entire time. I should have just been like, yo, I'm coming. I'm a Seminole, bro. I don't really regret anything. It's a, it's a good school for the most part, except parking. But. Yeah, there were certain things that I didn't like about Florida State when I first got here, but I've acclimated to it, and there's nothing I can say I regret about the school. Aww. That's so awesome. I love that. Damn. I mean, for the most part, these answers turned out to be a lot more positive than I thought they'd be. And even though all these students seem like they have Florida State figured out, you know I had to get a little more dirt on how these people truly feel. So as always, I threw in a few questions at the end to see what people really think about Florida State. Now I got some rapid fire questions for you. You ready? Oh, always. You sure? Yes. Okay. Let's do it. So first question, what is the biggest stereotype about Florida State? That this is like a complete party school. Party school. Party school. Party school. Party school and everyone here likes to party and drink. All we do is party and drink. Everyone parties. Partying. 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 For sure. When you think of FSU, you think of people going crazy every night. Absolutely, yeah. If there is one place around Tallahassee that students should absolutely avoid, what would you say that'd be? Spiritway Garage and the Strip past 1 a.m. The Strip after 1 a.m. The Strip. The Strip parking lot. Probably Bajas. Bajas and Pots. Tennessee street past like midnight like certain parts of french town french town french town oh and the strip what is your least favorite thing about florida state yeah the parking um uh, probably the parking garages the weather the uh promiscuous nature of a lot of the people here at the school it's like labeled as a party school but it's just it's so much more than that our football team kind of sucks right now so that's that's tough mike fucking norvell
<laughs> and I have one final question for you. If you were to give one piece of advice to all the little freshmen out there about coming to Florida State, what would it be? Take it slow and relax. Don't worry about the process. It'll all work itself out. Don't stress about what major you're picking coming into college. Have a complete trust that when you're here, you're going to be able to find the opportunities for you to thrive. There's so much to love about Florida State, and I feel like if you stay in that mindset you had when you lived back home, you could miss out on a ton of great opportunities. Just throw yourself into any social situation you can. You just need to get involved. It's the best thing to do. It's the best way to make friends and meet people. Join anything you can. Join every club. Surround yourself with people that are good for you and are going to lift you up. Don't stress out too much about little things like making friends because they'll come. Everything will end up okay because it ended up okay for me and most of the people that I know. So you'll be fine. Awesome. So as you can probably tell from some of the answers we got, not a single person out there started off with the perfect college experience. And even after being at Florida State as long as they have, these students still face challenges with finding their place here. And this is the strongest message I can give you guys. Life is never gonna go the way you expect it to. And whether it be your college decision, your career path, or even what you have for dinner tonight, life is still gonna be full of uncertainty. But even if the place you end up isn't what you dreamed of it to be, there's still a million different ways to make it way better than you could have ever imagined. So whether you end up at your dream school, your safety school, or even don't end up in college at all, just know that with an open mind and a positive attitude, things are gonna turn out 10 times better than you could have ever imagined. I mean, unless you end up at UF, then things could be a little bit better out there. But for now, just trust me on this one. I know. So with that being said, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do respond to every single comment. So if you have any other questions or video ideas, make sure to leave them down below. I do have a playlist of everything you need to know about college. So if you wanna go check it out, it'll be right here. And if you wanna join the family of over 1.9 thousand subscribers now, you can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. And I will see you guys next week. Whoa, Ashton from YouTube, what are you doing here? <laughs> do you want to answer some questions I for a YouTube? I would love video? to. Yes, okay, let's do it.